and ways please what's up kittens it's painter coat again as always and uh, yeah we have really warm october so i am here on my roof and today i'm so excited because there will be no speed paint yeah no speed paint today but we're gonna sew today <laughs> So guys, if you have sewing machine, I hate you. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I don't have sewing machine, so I have to sew everything by my hands. Um, it's a little bit like longer process, but I think I can handle it. And if you have your sewing machine, it will be just like half an hour project for you. And uh, before we get started, I need to buy <laughs> some supplies for it. So I need to buy... Oh my god, why is it so loud when I'm filming? I'm cursed. Okay, uh, but before we get started, I need to buy some supplies. And uh, first supply that I need to buy is uh, fabric for my project. And we go to $1 store today because I want to make this project um, the cheapest of the cheapest, <laughs> you know? Yes, so let's go to $1 store and we'll see what we can find there. So hello again guys and let's start our sewing journey. <laughs> so before we get started to sew, some, sew something, we need to um, protect our zipper if you want to use this maybe in some other projects. You just need to do some uh, quick stitches in the end and at the beginning of the zipper and uh, yeah it protects your zipper uh, from opening because you know how actually hard to fix the zipper <laughs> so but if you don't have this uh, kind of problem with the zippers or you don't want to use it just I don't know just throw it away and forget about it but I want to use my zippers because I have to do five toys <laughs> this time, I have to spend a little bit more time than you. And the second step that we have to do, we have to turn out our pillowcase and uh, separate uh, two parts so, because one part is fluffy and one is not, so yeah, I need to separate all of them. This is all my materials that I want to use this time and, you know, it's a lot of work and I'm pretty scared. Yeah, this is my example. This is the first Ming that I saw in September. So right now we need to find out our, our details. And I actually mark them on the eye, you know, like I just try to imagine how I want this toy to look like. And don't forget about seam allowance, because when you stitch something to something, um, it will be a little bit mm, smaller than uh, your actual, you know, detail that you're just uh, cutting from the material uh, because of uh, your sewing. <laughs> so, oh my god, it's so hard to explain in English. And yeah, after you make your first uh, part, so it will be kind of a stencil for your other part and yeah, then we have to do the tail just on your mm, mood, I don't know, but don't make it too thin because you know, 
you have to sew and it will be smaller just think about it and of course all four bows it's just rectangle shape some four you know pieces of uh, material so uh, I don't forget about ears don't think so um, we need uh, some leftovers from our fluffy um, textile and we gonna do ears with only this uh, fluffy uh, material because they don't have to be that hard that than another parts of uh, this toy's body and then we use our details that we already have uh, like stencils for another part of our material uh, to fluffy part of course cut them out and please use normal scissors like for textile because I have my little scissors for manicure and it was awful my um, fingers hurt so bad <laughs> yeah my Ming just want to help me or maybe not to help me I don't actually know but yeah <laughs> in this video you can see how she likes her toy that I make her a little bit earlier yeah it is everyday uh, routine for us right now she likes this toy really really much and finally we have to sew and just remember one simple rule before you need to sew something you have to pin it with with safety pins because yeah we uh, have a little bit um, thinner material that we actually need so yeah we need to make it thicker um, with a layering and uh, here I just uh, showing you my regular seam how I do it it's really really simple and you don't have to be that you know accurate uh, ideal because this fluffy material covers every your mistakes of course if you have not uh, that type of material if uh, your mm, textile is really uh, smooth you have to be really accurate okay <laughs> so right now we making pause and yeah like uh, with the body you have to pin them uh, with safety pins and then sewing um, all of them and of course the same with the tail nothing new here Here we are, I made every detail and right now we need to pin them uh, right size uh, to each other and right now I'm showing you how to make looped seam. This is really simple kind of seam and uh, it's, it helps you to sewing a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah. So I use this seam uh, to every detail that I need to uh, sew together, like the tail, like uh, two parts of body, like uh, legs, paws. <laughs> So yeah, when you finish your uh, looped seam, so you just need to 
uh, so your uh, detail right now it is tail with regular seam uh, maybe you have to do two or three layers of regular seam um, because it is pet's toy and it have to be really strong <laughs> and this is time to turn the tail out for this detail i use my mm, old uh, brush it is long enough and yeah you can see in this video how i did it because i can't explain it in english <laughs> And yeah, this is the finish tail. And of course, uh, before we get started with paws, we need to pin them with with uh, safety pins. And using looped seam, I uh, sew um, two sides of uh, this detail. And uh, then I use my regular seam like with the tail. And of course, don't forget to um, uh, left one side open and yeah turn this out and look how cute is it and right now it's time to make some ears of course i cut them out i cut all of them out it was <laughs> it was a long process and right now i'll show you how to make this little cutie yeah we have to use um, our looped seam and then our regular seam uh, as uh, with the tail and with paws, but you have to leave a little uh, hole open because we need to turn this <laughs> little detail out. And don't forget, if you don't have this uh, fluffy material, you have to be really, really careful with your seam. And yeah, turn this little ear out. And right now we need to cover this hole. Just try to make stitches uh, not that kind of visible, right? Um, not like uh, straight stitches, but stitch to the left side, to the right side, to the left, to the right, and it will be not like really visible. And yeah, this cute little ear is done. The same thing with the body, of course, don't forget to um, leave open one side, it is bottom side, so it's a little bit easier to um, leave the bottom side open and uh, um, feel the toy from the bottom side. And here is everything that we need to do right now. The first, uh, we need to pin our ears to the place that they have to be. Um, I use my needles, you can use everything you want. You also can just glue them but if you have pet kind of like a mink or ferret it won't be lasting <laughs> really long so i pin them with my needles and uh, right now i'm sewing them to the place just using really rough seam and uh, i make two or three layers of uh, stitches And yeah, ears are in place. Of course, you can make uh, some eyes or maybe nose, but you don't have to because it is the pet's toy and they can eat everything that, you know, like plastic or 
something like that so you have to be really careful with that and before we can sew something we need to pin this to the place and right now I'm pinning um, pause to the place and yeah two or three layers of stitches and it is done about bottom pause um, at my first toy I made them really low but it wasn't quite good and it seems like you know something happened with this toy so yeah I decided to make them a little bit higher and this works really great so of course pin the paws and uh, stitch them to the place nothing really hard but be careful with your fingers if you need use some protectors and this is the coolest part of this project we need to fill up our details i talk about the tail and the body and i have plastic package uh, and uh, a bit of synthetic winterizer I just roll my winterizer and uh, this little leftover I push to the tip of the tail to make it harder, a little bit harder. And then I just pack my synthetic winterizer in a plastic package and push everything inside the tail. And why I use my plastic package? Because it makes everything scrunchy and my mink like when something is uh, scrunchy and uh, rustle. And of course the same with the body. A little bit of Cintipon, some, uh, some synthetic winterizer to the nose to make it harder and pack uh, the rest of your winterizer to the plastic bag and uh, yeah, uh, all goes inside your toy and if you need a little bit more, just add a little bit more to the bottom to make it um, really uh, soft and big and, <laughs> and fluffy. And yeah, my little helper just uh, come to me and try to steal I ah, try to steal new toys. Oh, such a cute fluff. And right now there is the really hardest uh, thing. So, uh, before we get started to attach our tail, we need to hem the edges. This is just a pet toy, but I want this to look really mm, pretty and accurate. So hem the edges and right now it's time to attach the tail of course you can use uh, safety pins but i don't use them um, i used them with my first one but it came um, not quite good i don't know why maybe it's not like mm, it wasn't easy for me, so I decided to just pin the tail and the body with my um, fingers and it works. And don't try to attach everything just, you know, at once, because you need to make your seam really, really strong. And um, yeah, uh, when you uh, sew uh, one third, you have to... Um, be sure that it is really strong so make uh, one or two layers of stitches there and then just um, cover everything with stitches <laughs> just try to attach somehow I, I don't know how to explain that but you know when you start when you start sewing you just realize how to do that um, you know in the best way so I wish you luck guys with this part, maybe someday I'll decide to make another one tutorial and there will be a little bit 
easier thing but right now I can't explain it <laughs> like really because how to explain that <laughs> So yeah, just cover everything with stitches and this is our final product. So here we are guys, finally this is all five of my fluffy minks and I'm very happy with that and I'm so proud of myself. But it was a long journey, almost a month because I don't have any time to make them, but if you have a time uh, so for one toy you just need um, two or three hours, depends on your skills. And if you have a sewing machine, of course I hate you, but uh, it takes you just half an hour for one fluffy long something. So yeah, I hope you liked this video, it was interesting and useful and yeah, this uh, fabric is not really, you know, like good for everyday use, but if it's just a, a simple present for somebody who have mink or ferret, it's really good and really cheap. But if you want to do this for your um, pet, um, you have to find better quality fabric for it, but it is really cheap, so you can make a new toy every month for your pet. So, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to push notification bell. And of course, I love you guys, so and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!